Welcome, one and all, whoever may be watching this. This is part 8 of Baldur's Gate, the Enhanced Edition. After wandering through the woods for a whole 20 odd minutes there, we have finally made ourselves... Oh, finally made our way to the forest. mining camp. <laughs> Fine. I can speak words, as always. Oh jeez, my mouse just seems to have moments, even when I change the batteries, where it's just like, nah, I'm not going to do it. My Draw your daggers and spells and let's have at you. You've crossed our employers and this is as far as you're going to go, my friend. Should have known that lazy bounty hunting rabble wouldn't get the job done. Never settle for second best, I always say. You know what I always say? Always kill the mouthy one, that's what I say. Ho! Oh, a good saying. I will use your head for a puppet and make it say it over and over while we drink large amounts of mead. Life is pretty good, you know. I, I don't fear you, buddy. Okay, got some pretty sweet loot going here. Another bounty note, I'm going to assume. Oh, hello. But wait, there's more. Uh, okay, I think we either head inside or we can go around this way. Okay, I think we want to go around that way, but let's just have a look sees inside. Okay, we have need of your services yet again, Drassus. We are expecting an incursion at our mine location in the Cloakwood. You are to accompany Davarion to the site and prevent entry or assault by anyone that is foolish enough to challenge you. Your standard fee shall be doubled in this instance. If all goes well, you should forward. You should look forward to more of the same. Realtar. Such menial tasks. Oh nice, we can go upstairs. Okay. I'm going to assume, I mean, that there's not anything of particular value around here. Fellow. This way. Oh. Come on. I can, but what? try. Such menial tasks. So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> Please, don't kill me. I'll tell you where the mines are. Yes, I'll do that for you if you spare me. The entrance is in the valley to the east. Please let me live. Okay, that was convenient. Fine. I'm gonna assume all of these are locked. Yeah, okay, let's just go. Such menial tasks. Such menial tasks. Oh, so uh, let's drop that, and then let's just give everything to Mince. Um, could I not be at the front, please? We're about to hit some bad guys. Simple matter. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must 
must gather your party before venturing forth. As in like, do we... Oh, okay, there's a door. Forth. Yep, okay. <laughs> I was sort of like, how are they supposed to get there? Alright, so we're now in the mine. And Fine. they call this a mine. I hate them flaming fist pansies. You're those people who've been taking down our mining ops. Well, you've come to the wrong place, kiddos. I'm one mean son of a gun, and I'm gonna give you a world of hurt. Mm, yeah, good job, buddy. That, that hurt. Gods, gods! Anderson speaking of... Speaking ill of Devereux. Wait, you're not gods. Ah, gods, gods! Get me out of this hell. There are two reasons I pound this pick against these rocks. Do you wish to hear them? Yes, I would. First, because I imagine this rock to be my captor's skull. Second, because the meager spark that leaps from my attempt is all the light I'll ever know again. If you be a new slave like I once was, you shall learn these simple truths soon enough. Um, okay. Um. So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. <laughs> uh, okay, so who are you guys? Ye here to buy some iron or something? You know, while you're here, maybe you should give me some advice. My wife's been complaining lately, mostly about our late night life. You see, with all the stress and trouble lately, it's taken a little starch out of my maypole, if you get my meaning. Uh, why in the nine hells are you asking us such question? Hey, wait a second. I recognize a bunch of you now. You're the guys who've been causing all the trouble lately. Surrender right now. Soz, mate. Definitely just put an end to your nightlife there. Save me, dear sir. Please save me. If you set me free, ma'am, I can tell you how to bring this mine crashing down around the heads of these fat slavers. Uh, we'll set you free. Now tell us what you know. Well, see, here's how it is. The way to bamboozle these mine, these ninnies is real easy. Right here beside me is a steel plug that stops up the river on the surface. If you were to release that, then the whole mine would be drowned. Only the master of the mine has the key to open the plug, and he's a real mean guy. If you were to bring the key to me, I could use it to flood the mine. How do you know how to operate this key? There's a dwarf on the second level of the mine. His name's Yeslik, and he's the last surviving dwarf of the clan that used to be here. Under threat of death, he designed the plug for the master of the mine. I talked with him last time. I was in the cells for bad behavior. Okay, I'll try to find this key. Good. If you haven't already been down to the lower levels, try to find a man named Rill. He's a good friend of mine and should be able to come up with a plan on how to get all of the slaves to safety. I'll see you later then and try not to get killed. Okay, so now once again we have to find out how to get to the lower levels of a mine. Oh, nice. You must gather your party before venturing forth. No! No! All right. And I always am. A simple matter. What you want? I've done had enough yes. of this. Such menial tasks. Alright, I'm looking for real. I don't know if he's here or not. I'm just seeing a bunch of slaves. Okay, um... Well, you're, you're all free. 
Yep, go free. Walk out right now. Probably shouldn't have the mage leaving the way, but whatever, Strebs. So many ways that I could go. Hey, you're those adventurers. I, I give up. Please don't hurt me. I promise I won't scream. I don't want to die. Oh, please let me live. Just don't kill me. Are you going to let me live? Are you? Huh? Huh? Sure, we'll let you live. Just tell us everything we want to know. Uh, I'll tell you everything. Everything. My boss, Davaroon, he's on the fourth floor. He's, he's the head honcho. Now, are you going to let me live? Yeah, get out of here. So we've got to get down to the fourth floor level, whatever. I do just kind of want to come up and see what's around here before I continue on. It could just be this is another way to get to wherever this secret entrance hallway passage thing would lead me. I th think that's very much the case. Maybe she's run out of arrows. Okay, so my guess is if we took the secret passage, we could have avoided that battle. Would be my take on that whole situation. Oh, I just picked up something I didn't want. Nice. No, it's not letting me give it to her. Okay. Oh, inventory is full. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so she has plenty of arrows, but I just forgot to equip them. Yes. That's how I roll. Okay, she's low on bullets. Uh, okay, that could get interesting. Whatevs, Trevs. Oh, come back. I guess technically we don't even need that, so let's just ditch that. Oh, just pressing all the wrong things. Hey, you there, wait. Tell me I'm right. Aren't you the mercenaries who's been causing the Iron Throne so much trouble? Yes, we are. How did you come by this information? You look to be one of the throne slaves. Good. My name is Rill, and I'm the de facto leader of the slaves here beneath the Cloakwood. I heard about you because I'm always careful to listen to what the Black Talons talk about. It seems that the Iron Throne has placed a large price on the head of someone named Chloe, which would be you, I assume. 
Enough introductions, we don't have much time. I need 100 gold. The captain of the Black Talons on the first floor is not known for his loyalty to the throne. If you give me the money, I'm sure I could bribe him to look the other way while I escape with the rest of the slaves. After all, most of the Talons are going to be preoccupied with you. Well, how about it? Here, take the gold you need and get yourselves and the others away from here as soon as possible. Thank you, thank you so much. I wish you well and hope that you can bring an end to this stinking operation. Uh, they mentioned Yeslik. Hi, who's there now? More smithing? Or did you burrow into another river? Oh, fine sight, you. Whoever you are, sick to death, the bandits I am. I've been cooped up the longest time, but if you've a spare mace, I'd gladly swing it for your cause. I can do things cleric- well, oh, he's a companion. Oh. No, I- sorry. Yeah, okay, so this hidden passage. Oh, hello. Would have taken me all the way around here, and I'm assuming it, it's potentially possible to avoid that combat entirely. Guys, where are you going? Nature servant, as you direct. What? Such what? Tasks. <laughs> I've done had enough of this. What you want? I've done had enough <sighs> Who else of is this? there? Okay. Yes? Stop! You have need of me? If none are better. Okay, let's just what stink and do this one at a yep. time, apparently. I've done had enough of this. Yes, oh. as you direct. <coughs> if none are better. What? Such menial tasks. I just wanted to let her finish casting a spell before telling the rest of them to do anything. Nicely done! I think that was all Imowen. Well, no Dinah here, apparently. Good job, guys. A simple matter. Ah, uh, okay, naturally. <laughs> Which direction do we go in? Your life should be mine. No one. Okay, guys, just make your way this way. <laughs> a very um, complicated mind situation, which I guess most minds are, to some degree or another. Oh, my heart's really not in this. Alright, my blade will cut you down to size. Them flaming fist pansies. Is there a reason for you being here? You had better have a good explanation for bothering me. Uh, we're here on business. We wanted to purchase some of your iron. Mm? Not good enough. Surrender yourselves now. Well, I, you know, tried to play it casual, but if you're going to attack me, you're going to die. It's just how this works. Oh, that looks sad. There's dead people there. I'm just going to keep walking, though. Go for the eyes, fool! Go for the eyes! Rask! For right!
Okay, we seem to be dancing around this middle area, or possibly the exute could be down here. I just feel like if we keep going up this way, it's just going to take us back to the main room, and this is like some giant rectangle situation. So either we need to head into the middle, or we can keep going down from this squash corner. That was a moment. I guess maybe we walked past whoever was in this room. I don't know. Oh, nice. Okay. No clue what's in the middle. I'm assuming lots of fighting. <laughs> bunch of you better have a good reason for being here. We're here to purchase some iron ore. Devahir never told me about this. I have to assume you're lying. Maybe one day someone will believe me. Okay, from memory, I think beyond this room is another hectic battle. You've a task? Yes. Such menial tasks. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Back up, back up. Okay, Davon. Why have you come? Is it to steal my riches, or perhaps you seek to righteously punish me for my affront to your morality? It matters little, for you will do neither. Before I dispose of you in some horribly gruesome manner, perhaps I should introduce myself. I am known as Davarion, and I would ask you for your names, but I care little to become acquainted with the dead. Mate. Mate. Okay, good. Someone hit him. <laughs> you have dealt a great blow to the organization known as the Iron Throne. A defeat that you are certain will not be ignored. Now you must travel to the great city of Baldur's Gate, where you are certain to find the truth behind the strange plot that plagues the citizens of the Sword Coast. Okay, um, I'm going to save looting this level and then sort of the end situation for the next video just looking at almost 25 minutes as is so this is where I shall end things thank you all for watching whoever has been as always I greatly appreciate it and on that note I'll see you on the flip side bye